Shalom, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to say Barakat Ayahawa, Barakat Ayahawa Shah, Barakat Ayahawa, Barakat Ayahawa Shah, Barakat Ayahawa, Barakat Ayahawa Shah. All right, the true name of the Heavenly Father and His Son. All praise, honor, and glory due to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah, double honors to the elder apostles, great millstone, who taught us the truth and who continued to labor in the doctrine. Salutation to the hopeful elect, the Akiyamata spreading the gospel throughout the four corners of the earth in sincerity and truth. All right, and risking their lives of freedom and presenting their bodies as a living sacrifice, as the scriptures also say, to do so. Shalom to the few sisters that do listen to us as well. All right, basically, um, <clears throat> this lesson inspired from a conversation. You know, we we um well something we was going over in class the other in the class the other day, and basically, you know, I was just meditating on it. You know, it was just based talk going over all these damn strong delusions that's over our people, and um, the flavor the last few weeks happened to be in Christianity, but you know, Christianity is a curse. Christianity is a curse of lifestyle. All right, as as well as um Islam, Shintoism, Catholicism, Taoism. Confucianism, sh shamanism, and Shintoism, and all these isms that um, our people are into. You know, everything but the law, statutes, and commandments, see how about Shimei Hosha. You know, that's wood and stone. When you go into Deuteronomy, the 28th chapter, one of the main um, chapters we use to identify the people of Israel, it speaks about the curses. It speaks about the blessings, you know, through the one, in Deuteronomy 28, 1 through 14. Then from 15 to 68, he, he gets on the curses. But one of those curses, and we're going to get that quickly, is um, that idolatry, man. So to, to be in the Christianity, all right, or the Catholic Church, that's that's idolatry, man. And that's a curse, you know, that you were given over to that. Matter of fact, I'm going to read it. This is Deuteronomy 28 and um, 15. It says, but it shall come to pass if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord. I'm going to read it verbatim. But if thou will not, but if it come to pass, but it shall come to pass that if thou will not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God to observe, to do all his statutes and commandments, which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. All right. And one of those curses was what? Was to serve those, those false gods and be under the delusion that, you know, you're doing something profitable. You know, and we're gonna get that too. This is um this is Deuteronomy twenty-eight and verse thirty-six. It says, um Yahweh, I'm gonna read it, I'm gonna Yahweh shall bring thee and thy king which thou hast set over thee unto a nation which neither thou nor thy fathers have known, and thou shalt serve other gods of wood and stone. And that's what happened when we were snatched up. And various captivities, all right, when we was in the, 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 all the captivities we've been to. But um, especially in this, you know, when we went to those other nations, we served their gods, man. Particularly, look at what's going down in America, man. Our people are into everything, man. They're going to be celebrating Christmas, December 20, whatever, 4th or something. They're going to be doing that madness. They're in the Catholic Church. They're in the Christian Church. They're in a, that, that uh, Muslim shit. they worshiping wood and stone, man. All right, we went to captivity, and, and, and our forefathers didn't know these gods. These are our forefathers, the forefathers of the blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans are the Israelites, the 12 tribes of Israel. All right, this this ain't what Moses, you know, set, uh, set out for us when he when the Most High gave him the law, and him and Aaron, you know, dealt with the people. You know, they never spoke of Christianity. The Lord Yahweh Shai never, uh, who the world falsely called Jesus, he never spoke of being a, a Baptist or Pentecostal, you know, but that's one of the curses that was placed upon us. I'm going to get a couple more scriptures, man, because this, this stuff is madness, man. You live in a cursed, wicked, silly life, man. You're under a strong delusion. All right, this is Jeremiah 17 and 1. It says, the sin of Judah is written with a pen of iron, and with the point of a diamond, it is graved upon the tablet of their heart and upon the horns of your altars. Which their children remember their altars and their groves by the green trees and upon the high hills. And that's like them churches, them groves, man, going into um, <clears throat> that idolatrous assembly, man. All right. Verse 3. O my mountain in the field, I will give thy substance and all thy treasures to spoil you and thy high places for sin throughout all 
thy borders. Because that's, that's, that's what our Jake is into, man, committing idolatry. And ultimately, the Lord gave him over to that if he keep him in it. You know, it was one of the curses. It was a curse that, that we all are. <clears throat> uh, have a fallen that like like it says in the book of Thessalonians that except that great that fallen away come first all right and we fail from our heritage all right paraphrasing but um this is verse seven uh four Jeremiah seventeen and four it said and thou even thyself shalt discontinue from thy heritage that I gave thee and I will cause thee to serve thy enemies in the land which thou knowest not for ye have kindled a fire in my anger. Which shall burn forever, and that's 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 for a very extended long period of time, and that's what we did, man. We we committed idolatry, and the Lord sent us sent a strange nation upon us, man. All right, and and they gave us the, this BS, cause in in the and we 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 in them so-called churches, we're not taught the Bible. This is the Bible, all right, that I'm reading from the King James Bible, the apocryphal, which was taken out of the King James Bible, all right. This, this is what I'm reading from. We're not taught this in, in the so-called churches, all right? We're taught Christianity. The scripture says, <clears throat> he sure to serve, he, he doing nothing except he reveal his um, um, secrets. Surely he does nothing in Amos the third chapter except he does what? Reveal his secrets to the, his servant, the prophets. You go into the Christian church, you'll swear the Lord dealing with everybody. All right? The Lord said that as it is written, Jacob have I love, but Esau have I hate it. The Christian church tell you that hey, the Lord loves everybody. All right, that's that's madness, man. He tell you anybody can be saved. The scriptures say, "Whomsoever shall call upon the name of of, of Yahweh, shall be saved." These people ain't calling on the name of the Lord. All right, and that's whomsoever amongst the elect of Israel, man. The scripture says in, in Acts five and what's that twenty nine that that Yahweh shall die for to give repentance to to the, to the nation of Israel, man. The churches tell you something totally different, man. They avoid these scriptures, man. And that's because they're under that delusion, man. And the Lord gave them over to that reprobate mind, man. Because ultimately, he ain't dealing with them if, if they don't snap out of that. That that madness. All right. Let me see. This is, um. This is, uh, 2 Thessalonians. Um, 2 and, uh, verse 10. And with all deceivableness and unrighteousness in them that perish, these niggas that, that don't get it, because they receive not the love of the truth that they might be saved. And what we're giving you, you know, from the elders on down, all right, is, is the love of Yahweh Shah, the truth, man, that, that, that you, you know might be saved. We are fishers of men, man. You know, the scripture says in the book of James, he who, who, he who um, converted the sinner, Covered the multitude of sins, all right? And that's what we out here trying to do. But, but Jake ain't going to get it because the Lord ultimately blinded them, man. That's why he said, the elect have obtained it, but the rest have not. Quoting out the book of Romans. I think that's where it said. But uh, this is 2 Thessalonians 2 and 11. And for this cause, Yahweh shall send them a strong delusion that they should believe a lie. That they all might be damned who believe not the truth. But had pleasure in unrighteousness. Because these people had pleasure in unrighteousness, man. And their idolatry. And their foolishness, man. When you see the prophets out here week in and week out. Breaking strongholds, man. Cutting guys like um, all these guys, man. No class Malone. All these Pastor Pork Chops. All right. And Bishop Bacon's out here. And Freaky Deacons. So-called, you know, leaders out here, man. Um, whoever, whoever wanted, man, whoever wanted, James White, the Edomite, all right, <clears throat> uh, G-Man, you know, whoever, man, you see us out here breaking the strongholds, all right, and all these other false prophets, man, even the false prophets in Israel, and they telling you it's okay to take the chip, man, that shit is, that shit is madness, man, the RFID chip is the mark of the beast, and if you take it, there's no chance of salvation for you, period. All right, I just want to say that. This is Isaiah 66. Salaki. Let me get this. Yeah, this is Isaiah. All right, this is, um, because he's telling them the same thing, man. Yeah, this is Isaiah 66 and 4. It says, I will choose their delusions and I will bring their fears upon them. Because when I called, none did answer. 
when I spake, they did not hear. But they did evil before my eyes and chose that which I delighted not. And that's those damn idols, man. And the Lord, the Lord give you over to that man. He just got you to get you, man. That's why it says in uh, the book of Job, the deceived and the deceived are his, man. The Lord got you niggas, man. But that's a curse, man. Christianity is a curse, man. If you ain't one of the elect, man, you ain't going to snap out of this idolatry, man. You better, you, you better get over it, man. You better snap out of it, man, when you hear the um, prophets out there week in and week out. The scripture says, cry aloud, spare not. But lift up thy voice like a trumpet in Isaiah 58 and 1. And that's what we out here doing. When you see us out here spreading the love, the true love, in defense of the gospel and breaking these strongholds, you better listen to that, man. Or the Most High, Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, is going to destroy you damn niggas, man. Christianity, snap out of it, man. We wasn't taught the Bible in the slave times. We were taught Christianity. The Bible totally rips apart with so-called Christianity. And if you want to be Christ-like, or like the anointed one, you follow the scriptures, the law, statutes, and the commandments. See how about shimmy, how shot? No shaving your beard, no pork, no Easter, no adultery, no Christmas, no Halloween. All right, following the laws of Moses in this captivity to the best of your ability, man, and crying the sign to the Most High, getting out there and teaching this word, man. But with that being said, man, hey, I hope this video was edifying. All praises, honor, and glory due to you. Howl by Shimmy, how shy. Devil honest to the elder apostles of great meal song. And um, shallow warm to the hopeful elect. And we almost out of this piece. Shallow warm.